Um, the Hurt is my favorite show. It's amazing. It's the best Native American art show in the country. Believe me, I've done them all and I've won them all. I've won this one. I've won all of the others. But this year, they really got it together and laid the format format out much better. It's much a better flow, and you know, it's a really great, really great formula. Hi, I'm Daniel Ramirez, Saginaw Chippewa from Mount Pleasant, Michigan, and I'm a fine art painter and uh, BFA and an MFA from the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. It's like a uh, gathering of nations. It is. This, that part of my work is about the role of the teenage girl in Native culture. I've been painting most of my life, and I'm 57. Um, my educational career is over 25 years, so a good 30, 40 years. A lot of my influences are European um, in terms of my academic studies. But as time went on, I uh, grew more and more uh, in involvement with Native American painters in particular, but also other artists. This weekend, I got to meet Alan Hauser's wife yes, yesterday. It's this amazing woman. So he, Alan Hauser, as an example, would be what I would say is, a, is a, one of my mentors visually. Yeah, I just came from Marin where we showed, we premiered the first six feet of the world's longest Native American painting, which I'm creating in the next five years. The mission is to uh, create a painting that is over 100 feet that depicts the indigenous women of the 50 United States. And inside of that um, mission are some really amazing women who have uh, connections, spiritual connections to their families, uh, dancing families, the, um, many, many issues are covered within the painting and the piece itself. It comes from my series Caring for Our Elders, which I created for my tribe about seven or eight years ago. My graduate thesis piece 20 years ago was on Indian women and leadership and community. And so that's also a part of it. Um, if you have a chance, please visit uh, my website of the world's longest Native American painting. It's evolving into a very important educational tool where children will be able to, instead of having a book about Indian history or about Indians themselves, you go to the world's longest Native American painting website and you click on those grandmothers and they will give you our, their language, their culture, and elements of uh, their native existence. It doesn't matter whether you're a postman or a stripper or a Native American artist or whatever you are, the, the economy just is a mess. And the news on the radio on the way here was that it is getting better, and I believe it is getting better. We've had good shows this year, and this year was successful also. So, you know, you just kind of hang in there and go, you know, deal with it as best you can. Um, I've always um, expected from other Native artists to invent things, reinvent things, make new things, bring new products. Uh, you know, I'm working right now on a series of uh, pillows and totes and, you know, like if you go to Amado Peño, my friend down the way, he does like stoneware and, you know, it's, it's like recreating and renewing yourself is a very important part of being a Native artist or any artist. Very joyful. Where are you from? Well, I live here now, but I'm from uh, Target, New Mexico. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are you friends with Alan?